Saturday, obviously, could have hurt your first quarter, but things kind of bounced back in the second quarter. And from that point on, how disappointing was it that you know, the, the uh, momentum they had early on going throughout that game? Very disappointing. Uh, we're not happy with that performance at all. Uh, like you said, we, we started out well. Um, and we always talk about starting fast, uh, but obviously um, played a very talented football team, a championship football team, and uh, and, and a team that you know uh, has kind of taken over the ACC. Something that we used to do here at Florida State, and we're looking to get it back. And uh, and that was that was a a good test for our kids to see how far we have to go and uh, and move forward in, in this in this uh, in this game. So, uh, but. You know, starting well doesn't mean anything if you don't finish like you should like you should finish. So uh, we were very disappointed in that. Our guys were very disappointed in that, and we're looking forward to bouncing back this week against NC State. Marvin and, and Brian were vocal about being disappointed in some guys' effort. Is, is it important to have the players helping police that and, and being a part of, of, of that process of, of getting guys to do what they, they need to Absolutely. do? Absolutely. Uh, you know, when when a peer gets on you, it's even more. To, so it means more so than even a coach. Just like when a peer praises you, I think sometimes it means even more because you're getting respect from your peers, or or you know, when you talk about that type of stuff. So. Um, for them, to, if they get on one another, hey, man, you need to pick it up. Let's go. Let's go. As opposed to a coach doing it, it means even a little bit more to him, I think, to a player, especially if it's a guy that's doing it himself and getting it done. Have you seen that develop more and more, especially after the Clemson loss? Uh, yeah, I, I think that's happening more and more. Um, you know, it's part of our leadership and our team growing as a team. And uh, and, and so that, that's good to hear. Uh, trying to move forward with that and, and continue to get better. What do you do as a coach to help your guys distract after a loss like that? And maybe just the trip, you know, leaving Tallahassee and going away and having that time together, does that help to get through this? Well, we always say win or loss, 24-hour rule. So um, after 24 hours, it's over, on to the next game. Um, young people are resilient. Um, and so sometimes the coaches got to come up out of it fast, uh, faster than the kids or take a little bit longer. So uh, I think our guys are, are bounced, have bounced out of it and ready to go. I uh, know that we have four games left. We're four and four, and uh, and it should be a great November. We're playing a lot of great competition here in the month of November, and uh, it's another opportunity for us to get better and, and show that we have improved. What makes Ryan Stanley so challenging? Him being in this offensive system uh, on, on his third year, a uh, really good player, uh, understands coverages, uh, understands where to go with the ball, and he has some talented receivers to throw the ball to. Uh, so. Um, uh, it's always challenging for for a veteran quarterback, what I would call a veteran quarterback in college, uh, to go up against uh, and as talented as he is as far as throwing the football as well. Uh, it, it makes it a challenge, but we look forward to it. He doesn't get sacked very often. He's been sacked four times. I know a lot of that has to do with, with what they ask him to do in scheme, but is there anything defensively you can do to try to get pressure on him? Um, you know, there's some things that we've talked about and trying to. Like you said, he hasn't been sacked much. Uh, Craig, Credit to him and them getting the ball out of his hands fast. And so we got to be able to uh, see what we can do. I can't give that away, but we'll see what we can do. You guys weren't able to get much of a pass rush against Clemson. You didn't have a sack and just one tackle for loss. When, that's in that, when you're in that kind of situation as a defensive back, how do they kind of stay disciplined maybe when you have to stay back there a little bit longer as the quarterback has a lot of time to throw? Well, uh, that's no excuse. You got to be able to, you know, um, do your job and, and, and hold as long as you can. You know what I mean? Um, I think it works hand in hand with those as well. Um, you cover well on the back end, and then and then you try to run the guy down. I mean, he did, you know, he was, he had some good escape ability. Give him credit. Staying on the move, we had him on the run sometimes. Uh, but good football team, man, and uh, and it just had to work on both ends in the back end and the front end, trying to get to him and holding up in coverage. I know you say you guys don't give anything away around you. People have to earn their playing time. But, but after the Clemson loss, four games left, is this kind of a, an opportunity to sit here and assess what you have with the young kids, freshmen, and see how you can incorporate them into the game plan? Well, we've been playing a lot of freshmen already. Um, it's still going to be best players play. Uh, it's not like just throwing guys to the side. Best players play. Uh, fifth year senior or, or, or true freshman. Uh, that's how we're going to continue to look at it, and it's going to be based on practice. Uh, so we're going to judge guys on practice like we've been doing, uh, make this thing very, very competitive, and play the best players. What makes Harmon such a challenge your big receiver? Because he is a big receiver. He has really good hands. Um, he knows how to use his body, and, uh, and they trust him. The quarterback trusts him uh, when he throws the ball his way. So uh, that's what makes it a challenge. 
and, and we're, we're looking forward to the challenge. We really are. Is there anything in common that, that tells you guys back from playing 60 minutes on defense this season, or, or is it something different every week? Say the first part of it again. Is there anything that you guys are doing that's has one thing been kind of holding you guys back to, to oh, put 60 minutes together, or is it something kind of different week to week for you? Well, we continuously talk about all 11 execute. We win, and that means winning a play, winning a you know winning a series, winning a quarter, winning a game, and so there there's those little uh, mistakes in there by maybe one person. All 11 need to execute for us to win. And so that's what we keep stressing to them. And uh, I think that's what ends up happening. I don't know if it's from uh, getting tired, a lack of focus, I, you know, still trying to figure all of that out. But we keep talking about it over and over and over. So hopefully it'll kick in in this final month of the season.